super nice flavor. This would be my least favorite so far. Am I allowed to say McDonald's in here? Welcome, Welcome to, to Jollibee! Jollibee. <laughs> the happiest place in the Philippines. <laughs> it's definitely a happy place, a jolly place, if you will. Jollibee is the biggest fast food chain in the Philippines by a long shot. They are bigger than every other fast food brand combined in the Philippines. So they're <laughs> massive, so popular. And we've never tried Jollibee before at all. So we have to try it. We're gonna go inside, order a whole bunch of food, and see what Jollibee's all about. So excited. <laughs> that comes with the hot dogs and also an Aloha Yum Burger and also a Yum Burger with cheese and a deluxe chicken sandwich uh, and the burger steak and the Fiesta noodles. <laughs> <laughs> so much food. Yeah. Um, and also the Jolly Hot Dog and gravy like on the side. Can we get both kinds of floats please? I've never ordered this much food in my life I think. No. I think that's it. Uh, we will just call your number, Mom, this one. We'll call. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So what's the grand total? 1,342. So they gave us a number and they're going to call us when it's ready. I think it will probably take a while with all <laughs> I think of this. So. <laughs> Looks so good. Wow. Okay, it took three trays to get our order to our table. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna start with the drinks. They make floats here. And also, it, Jollibee is not just in the Philippines. They have more than 1,500 stores in 17 countries. So if you like what you see, look up if there's a Jollibee near you because you may need to very quickly run there after I try all this delicious looking food. To be honest, it was really hard to hear, so I'm not actually sure what kind of float this is, but I'm hoping the taste will alert me to the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Coke for root beer. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, it tastes like a Coke float. Nice. Classic. Oh, yum. I have to be careful, I have to pace myself. Yes. I have to be careful that I don't fill up my stomach. <laughs> Which food do you think you'll try first? Chicken joy. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, but first there's one more float. Oh, yes. This is, looks like an orange crush or Fanta kind of float. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that is really sweet. It tastes like a creamsicle. Mm. That's, that's good. Okay, I have to try the chicken joy <laughs> first. If you haven't heard of Chicken Joy, it's the number one thing on the menu at Jollibee. I've heard it compared to, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I've also heard it's much better, so I'm very excited to try it for myself. One million Chicken Joys served per day. That's a lot, that's a lot yeah. of chicken. It's a lot of joy, a lot it's of... a lot of chicken. Yeah. Okay, so here's the big reveal of the chicken. Oh. That is some fried chicken. Yes and it comes with gravy and because we got a bucket <laughs> it came with three containers nice. of gravy nice looking gravy so i guess you dip the chicken in the gravy of course you do i think that will bring more joy to the chicken <laughs> to the chicken or to me to you i don't think not the chicken. this chicken's having much this chicken's joy chicken's not having a great day <laughs> here we go I get it. That's good fried chicken. I don't need a lot of fried chicken, I must be said, but that is good. Wow. It's super juicy and crispy on the outside. Oh, that's good. And the batter is really buttery, it seems. Yeah. More juicy, less crispy, but very flavorful. Okay, we're off to a good start. After the chicken joy, I would say that this 
is the most popular, most well-known thing on the Jollibee menu. It's the Jolly Spaghetti. It's been described as Filipino spaghetti to me. And my understanding is that it tastes sweet. It has ground meat and cut up hot dogs and a banana ketchup, which is like sweeter than other ketchup. So I'm very excited to try this. Should I get hot dog on the first bite? Uh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Should. Oh. oh, that's good. <laughs> it is sweet. It's much sweeter than normal, you know, spaghetti sauce that I would have, but it is really good. I can see why this is really popular. Would you say it's jollier? <laughs> it's jollier. It's jollier it's spaghetti. Definitely jollier. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That is jolly spaghetti. The hot dogs, very unexpected. That's good. I would order that again. Mmm, two for two. Alright. Next up in the noodle dish category is another super popular dish. This is a Filipino noodle dish called palubok, and it's also known as fiesta noodles. And it's got a shrimp sauce, shrimp on top, ground meat, and hard boiled eggs. It smells good. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of everything in this bite. It's hard to do this. <laughs> Survey says. That's good. It's also kind of sweet. Oh yeah? I would say, yeah. Like, like this like, sweet sauce? Yeah, not like the spaghetti, but. Fiesta in your mouth? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and actually, um, the man at the front desk at our hotel, I asked him what we should order. This was his number one pick. It was, yes. He was very excited about yes. this one. So I can tell him now that I tried it. Yep. And I loved it. <laughs> mm. This is the burger steak served with rice and it has mushrooms on top. And it's not the burger steak's fault, but I don't like mushrooms. <laughs> Seeing it covered with mushrooms, not a great first impression for the burger steak, <laughs> but I am going to... Puff it out. I don't have a knife, so I'm just gonna use my fork. Okay, burger steak. This would be my least favorite so far. Okay. But I don't like mushrooms. There must be one. I just, I don't like mushrooms. Yeah. Next up, is the Aloha Champ Burger. Their Champ Burger sounds to me like kind of their just basic burger and then you can have different kind of iterations of it. The Aloha means that there's a big pineapple slice on top. I love pineapple. I love Hawaiian pizza. Leave a comment down below if you love Hawaiian pizza because it's one of these polarizing dishes. <laughs> People have very strong feelings about pineapple on pizza. I feel very strongly that it belongs on the pizza. It was invented in Canada. Yes, Hawaiian pizza was invented in Canada, not far from where I grew up actually. So I feel very protective of Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> so let me know if you are a pineapple on the pizza fan or not, and let's settle this. Let's get this out. Whoa, this has Whoa. girth. That's heavy. Okay, it's got bacon. It looks like some kind of sauce. Yeah. I don't know if that's like a champ burger sauce or something. Hmm. Wow, it actually has two slices of pineapple. Look at that. I approve Interesting. these pineapple slices. <laughs> Lots of parts of the world they put pineapple on their burgers. At home, it's funny, we don't, we put it on our pizza, but not our burgers. No, it's true. So, we could learn a thing or two. Okay. That was good. Wow. This would be very filling, I think, because, I mean, this is, it's a big... Yeah. It's a big burger. It's a champ. It's a champ of burgers. It's like half the size of your head. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Mm. I would definitely order that again. I thought we should open up another box next after the champ burger and try the chicken witch. I think it's a deluxe chicken sandwich. I think I ordered the deluxe chicken sandwich, but I'm pretty sure that comes with lettuce. 
as you can see, this does not have lettuce. So, if you guys can help me out, if you know, is this just the regular chicken sandwich? <laughs> like, I'm not quite sure. So if you know, let me know. We'll just go with original chicken sandwich. Yeah, I think it's original. Yeah. The bun is squishy. Mmm. Look at that chicken. Whoa. I feel like for a place that's known for its fried chicken, the chicken joy, the chicken sandwich has got to be good. Anything chicken related. Yeah, and I love sauce. It's very plain. But the chicken is just so good. It the chicken is doesn't so need much juicy. Else. Yeah, it's so juicy. And the sauce is kind of sweet. Like a honey mustard mayo sauce. Mm -hmm. Simple, good. Yum, yum, yum. When I looked at the menu, I felt like the yum burger seemed to be a staple. I don't know if you guys agree, but I got the yum burger with cheese which looks like, you know, basically a cheeseburger with nothing else on it. Let me just double check here. Okay, I lied, there's mayonnaise. It looks like mayonnaise or some other kind of sauce. And then just cheese and the hamburger. Look at the sauce come out. I have no problem with a little extra sauce at all. Unless you're like me and you're not really a fan of mayo. Who are my, uh, my people out there that don't like mayo? Raise your hand! <laughs> Who thinks Mark will eventually come to the mayo side? No. It's super plain, but I like it. We just wanted a very basic, like not a huge burger, like a champ burger. You know, gets the job done. A yum burger with cheese. I don't think it'd be the first thing that I'd order because I've tried so many delicious things now, but I would order it again. Nice. Yeah. Good. Mm. I'll leave some for you to try. Get rid of the mayo. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try it. Uh, it's not terrible. I think it's the other things in it making up for it. <laughs> like the meat. <laughs> and the cheese. It is good though. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You win. But I'm not converting to being a mayo lover. Not no. going that far. Not yet. Not going that far. Not yet. <laughs> Last up in the savory Jolly Bee lineup, for us at least, because you know we're not going to skip dessert, is the Jolly Hot Dog. I have to say, putting Jolly in front of things on the menu <laughs> does elevate it in a way. It just seems Jolly. So here's the Jolly Hot Dog. My favorite hot dogs in the world are Icelandic hot dogs. Yeah, Hilsa. It must be said. I don't think I've ever seen cheese on a hot dog, mm. so this will be a first for me. Okay, exciting. Yeah. They should have reversed it and had spaghetti in the Jolly Hot Dog. Not loving the bun. Oh. It's the first bun that I haven't really liked. Okay. It's not bad, it's just a bun. I don't know. Okay. Less special. Right. I would say that of all the things that I've tried, this would be my least favorite along with the uh, burger steak, if I had to pick. If, you know, you'll notice I am eating it though. You are eating it. <laughs> I'm still it's eating it. It's still happening. Yes. You didn't take more than one bite Maybe of the I burger steak. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> She's shocked that we're back. Yeah. <laughs> um, can we please have the peach mango pie? Can we have the buco pie as well? And the ube cheese pie? And can we get a chocolate sundae? Just the, the regular size. I think that's it. Thank you. Okay. I promise you dessert. We're starting with the chocolate sundae. Sunday twirl, creamy, smooth. Wow. Looks so good. It looks very inviting. <laughs> oh, wow.
I think that's a good reaction. That's good. <laughs> For a minute there, I wasn't sure. I was just processing. Processing, processing in real time. <laughs> the chocolate is really chocolatey, like rich flavor. Ooh, nice. Am I allowed to say McDonald's in here? It doesn't taste like a McDonald's sundae. It tastes a little bit different. I'm not mm. sure why. But the ice cream itself, itself tastes different. Yeah, it looks a bit different too. Mm. The texture, everything. Yeah. We order that every day of the week. I'll see you later. <laughs> So if you're not in the mood for something cold, they also have hot pies here. This mango peach pie is the one I have been looking forward to that was highly, highly, highly recommended. Peach and mango are two of my favorite flavors. Oh. Mm. Mm. That looks good. Nice and warm. Okay, peach mango pie. Careful you don't burn your tongue. I know, that's true. Maybe do a little nibble and let's it Test, test bite. Look at this. Oh. It's really hot. Holy jumping. I love mango. It's delicious. I feel like you can't go wrong. It's very fruity tasting. That is delicious. That filling is really nice. I definitely taste more peach than mango. Super nice flavor. Okay, I'll save some for you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I've been dreaming about this. Ever since I started looking into Jollibee, this is what I was most anticipating, and it delivers. This is incredible. Next up in the pie category, buko pie. This is a Filipino coconut pie, and it's also gonna be super hot, I'm sure. Okay. Mmm, big chunks of coconut. Oh yeah? Yeah, like it's creamy, but you can, there's chunks in there, which I, I always love bits. Yeah, bits are great. I like it, but I wouldn't order it over the peach mango. Okay. Because I like the peach mango more. Yeah. Next up, Ubi cheese Ooh. or other. <laughs> other. <laughs> I gotta say, this, this guy is so cute. Yeah. He really is cute. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at the purple inside. Wow. <gasps> Looks like fun. It just kind of tastes like cheese to me, though. It mostly tastes like a like a cheesecake filling. Oh. At least that's the flavor I get. Okay. I do love the purple. Yeah. This is good too, but honestly... The winner is? Nothing is touching the peach mango. Nothing at all. This is the winner of the pies. Of the pies. But, I have to say, I'm a Sunday gal. Good old tried and true. I'm a simple Sunday gal. <laughs> <laughs> and if I had to pick one dessert off the menu, this is it. I think our first time trying food at Jollibee was a huge success. It's hard to pick favorites, but I think I have to say Chicken Joy, the spaghetti, and tied for third would be the Aloha Champ Burger and the Chicken Burger. If you have been to Jollibee, I would love to know what your favorite order is, so leave a comment down below. And if you've never been before, then what looks good to you? Because now you've seen a ton of what they have on the menu. Tell me what you would most like to try. We've also made a ton of other videos around the Philippines, so I will link those down in the description box if you'd like to see more. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already for lots more travel adventures. I think I need to be alone with my chocolate sundae now. So I'll see you in our next video. Bye.